let's work out who is going to be in which command slot of um, so the three infantry divisions and the senior cavalry division. And I will come back. There we are, a decision for the second and third infantry division commander to make. And the first infantry division and sort are already directly confronting the British at the start of play. Okay, so I'll let you talk about that and I will move mm -hmm. on to talk to the British. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> So, <clears throat> this is uh, January 16th, 1809, we are second corps of the Armée d'Espagne, so the French Army of Spain, um, and we are pursuing the British. Following the defeat at Lugo, the British have gone on a long and ruinous retreat to the coast. Yep, absolutely, we have the... The memories of uh, Rifleman Harris uh, talking about that, quite interesting, about the disease and starvation and uh, cold weather and all that, <clears throat> very interesting, <clears throat> sorry. So 250 miles to Coruña Bay, historically the British sort of won this battle at uh, off La Coruña. Which enabled them then okay, to. So does anyone uh, want to? Uh, who wants to take what? I don't mind. Um. Okay, so who, who who wants to take the cavalry? Who has played cavalry before? I've only played infantry, so I probably would stick with that. Are you sure? You know, I mean, it's it's probably more fun if you don't play cavalry before, <laughs> then you can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and after all, it's uh, all about learning here and trying. Yeah. I mean, I I can take the cavalry if if you know. If, in, but... in, in first game I played, I stood there holding a point and I saw saw and saw for me just <laughs> all cavalry die. <laughs> <laughs> they just ran in and all get wrecked. Ah oh, dear. But, okay, I yeah. guess um, if Dave wants to take it. Oh, I I can take the cavalry, if you want. Yeah, go yeah, for it. Yeah. yeah, go for it. You take the cavalry. Uh, I got three divisions. I think we are one player short, so probably yes. A two divisions and a, a brigade. <clears throat> Although maybe, maybe he, uh, Justin was saying that one of those cavalry divisions actually. Um, hmm. I'm gonna take uh, Premier Division on the mill with the infantry leger. Okay, well I'll take third division then. I'll be. Uh, Della Borde. Uh, I think Shuri has already said it before oh, yeah? in the chat. Yeah. Is he? Uh, he wants to take. Uh, okay, yeah, no, I'll, I'll take second then. No worries. I didn't. I didn't see that. Yeah, he said the same thing. Yeah, I can take between second and third. He said. But mm. like... Okay, so I think it said it now. Um. Hmm. Cool.
Uh, do you know how I make the pen a bit thicker on the uh, yeah, just just press plus. Just press the plus and the minus. Plus? Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. So where's my position? <clears throat> Here, one eight nine. Are you playing on map 14 or? Yep. Yeah. Just pretend that everything east of the river is the sea. The ocean. Yeah, because I was already... Where do we start now? No, I'm trying to figure out as well. One division. Uh, I think the... most. Uh, I think most of us are still arriving. One, eight, oh nine. There, I got that. One is already facing a British division. Yep. On Hill, First division and second cavalry division and core reserve. Hill eight one eight nine. That seems to be in Up sector two five. Oh, I found it. Okay, so one west. Mark, hello. Nice to have you. So are the British on the Western Bank then as well? The road's near the forest, so that's probably there. If you found Corona, or the, uh, how the city, your Corona. Yeah, it's not. It's not an actual map of La Corona. So, this map is somewhere in in Russia, actually. Yeah, but uh, they say it's near this place, somewhere. Well, yeah, he's ah. he's Pesino, right? So yeah. Pesino. Oh, yeah. Then, yeah. Ah, yeah, I found it. Somewhere south. Uh, so... It's the west of the map, um, to south, and... The east and north sense like uh, at the battle was like the, yeah yeah historically it should be oriented in a different way but I don't think so uh, I I started the stream uh, is this right the placement I got let me see like there either here or here and there there and from up there so I guess. The one you put there at Pesino, that should be further south. A bit more south here. Yeah, south of the of the town. Even further south. Uh, here. Yeah, yeah, further, further. Somewhere there. Mm. Because this this whole thing is sort of the city of La Coruña. Yeah. Yeah. 
So the British have fourteen thousand. And men. here are some British. Oh. Yeah, I guess they have some more in the town, probably. And some facing you, or the cavalry there. Um, scouting for the limits of a British line in that direction. Oh, okay, that means there's a line like here, maybe. You know, they're facing them. They're going around from here and... Yeah, How maybe, many uh, maybe. blocks per brigade is it? Is it I just one or is it... I was wondering too. So I suppose normally it would be three, three battalions yeah. per brigade, but I have no clue. How do you think we should move? And especially if if they are mixed, if they are like put together from two different that regiments. Mm, we'll have to I wait. Let's see. Probably to the cavalry. Cavalry will be. In re uh, into reserve because like a cavalry attack on a city would be not the best. Yeah, yeah. We need just to probably to to get an overview where the enemy is and pin them there. German yeah. Hello. Uh, we Hello. got a question regarding the brigades. Is it uh, three battalions per or? Uh, they vary. Um example in first we find this in first uh, division the your first brigade has five battalions in it mm -hmm. uh, your second brigade has four battalions and your third brigade has four battalions mm -hmm. so that's probably in the player channels then the information? Uh, yeah well you, you'll see them when you're in charge and you have more more of an image of it but yes at the moment you just have the commander's eye view that they have two full regiments in there. In the first, uh, red, the first brigade, and so on. There's been heavy attrition on the march. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, another question: uh, Can we also win by just placing our cannons on a high ground and shoot at the ships that are trying to evacuate them? Or? Yeah, if you get artillery on high ground where you can shoot at the ships and the ships can't shoot you back with considerably more guns because you're higher and they can't return fire. If you can force them to drive up, to drive them off, that cuts off the retreat of the British as well. Yes. Yeah. I mean, not all the British ships are men of war either. They're, they have quite a few transports who are designed for carrying people rather than for shooting back. Yeah. Uh, are they also Spanish or only British? Only British. Yeah. The Spanish have been beaten and are being chased across Spain by other. French yep. detachments. You're just trying to deliver a savage reminder of why the British don't want to chase you onto land, because this is your continent now. Okay. Um, still want a bit more time with planning? Uh, are we... Like, since to most of the other divisions are still arriving on the map and um, are we allowed to communicate with them like in person you can or? communicate with them by courier we'll use the, actually remind me to remind me i got to post the thing about how to use the courier bot for those of us who <laughs> don't know yeah. i'll post it in general one sec um I think probably we, ha uh, we will have to converge on Corona uh, and place our artillery on some high ground to protect the okay, ship. I'll, I'll let you plan a little bit longer and <laughs> then I'll come back and try ask you to side the channels. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Okay.
Yeah, probably the what's mm. there up north. Um, that is third division. Yeah, they can probably cross the creek there and uh, try to get on the high ground north of Pashano. And either cut in, into the flank or set up the artillery there. Yeah, good. Don't know yeah, did. what, where, where would you send second division? Uh, second division. I'm not sure on which road come they in. Is this on uh, row eight or nine? Oh, the ones down here, should they like go to the middle or down, uh, stay south and try to go around them? Yeah, I'm not sure which um, road they are coming in, so if they are north of the, of the woods Or directly there. going here to help them. Uh, don't know if we have the time to go off road there. Uh, I think they will have to go north and then east yeah. into the other road. Mm -hmm. So I think first division will just press the enemy in front, uh -huh. then uh, second division comes to support them there along the road. And uh, then... if they spawn, uh, for second on. division, one of the roads near the forest. So if they, if they spawn here. They could take the small pass there, uh, yeah, probably. Okay. Yeah. Or, uh, Justin said they can arrive on road 8 or 9. Mm -hmm. So we don't know. But if they arrive on road uh, 9, then probably they can take that road or they can go further east. And then take to the middle road so that mm -hmm. we can spread yeah. our forces. We definitely yeah, need the cavalry to report us about the the flank of the enemy positions. Yeah. So which of those would I think this one would be a bit better. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Because we don't need to defend very probably good here. Yeah, and but uh, who's arriving on road eight? Uh, is that first division or? No, first division is uh, there in the center facing the enemy already. Yeah. Yeah. With uh, two cavalry. Our cavalry should be just south of of town. Uh, first division, first and second cavalry division, and the core reserve is near Hill One Eight Nine, mm -hmm. opposing our British division on the west bank of the Atlanta. So, I think there's some. We have some cavalry on the hill. But okay. Probably yeah, maybe we can send them quickly to the north east then to secure that hill there what? and to screen for which division is coming up north third uh yeah third yeah uh here it said that they already face mm -hmm. the british yep. so maybe they can't go there yeah, but I don't think we we have all, like all the, all formations, pinned there. Yeah, it's only first division. But I think um, we should press our advantage, like 
like since first division is already there to get across to mm -hmm. yep. for once from here they could could go like here uh, I think the eastern side of the river is um, like um, uh, see. Oh, I think we can go to the eastern side of the river. Maybe this one? Uh, yeah. I mean, in the end, it's up to the division. It's just about yeah. that we need a, a general plan right now. Yeah. Technically, we don't have to beat them. Like, we only have to get uh, near the city to so that they can't escape. Which city? Uh, Corona. Um, so, pass Kano. Can I have a picture of the map? Uh, I think in general, chat, um, yep. Justin posted one. Right. And the cavalry is a bit hard to plan because we don't know what I see. Yeah, I, I assume you are still far further south. Yeah. Like here? Yeah, maybe even even further. And then you'll you just have to reconnoiter the flank of the enemy, maybe threaten them a little bit and then screen the approach of 2nd uh, Division. Whenever yeah, they come up, so second division and first cavalry need to communicate. It's time to pick your. Well, tell me your commands, Gen General. So I know Sam is is going to have red one. Sorry, blue one. Who is uh, Merle going to be? That's me, premier division. And I have access already. Okay, no problem. Uh, who is going to be Mamet? I'll I'll be Mamet. No problem. Uh, you probably have access already, but anyway, but there you go. Who is going to be Delaborde? Me. Fantastic. Oh, we're using the uh, souped up. Sorry? I thought we were using Brigade souped up, no? We can't. 2022. I'm. I'm... I'm not using the 22 system, I'm using my system, but I, I right. use Damon's pieces. Ah, okay. Uh, but you're welcome to use any pieces you like to represent your troops. Uh, okay. And who is going to be Hussein, the senior cavalry commander? Thank you. All right. All right, thank you. You have a little bit longer. I'll spit, when I I'll send a message in team when I need you all to join to enter your respective voice channels. Mm -hmm. um, at the start of play, Sult and Merle are co-located. Actually, yep. Sult, Merle, and Husay are co-located, so you can all stay in blue one. Okay. So, does everyone know the general plan now? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, essentially, uh, three and four, no, two and three come down from the bottom, and then the rest from the top. I wasn't here for most of it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so... Like, this brigade facing the enemy will either fight or secure this hill. The other brigade will either spawn here or here. If they spawn here, they'll go this way. If here, they'll go through the road and the forest and try to attack them from the south. The one spawning up north will come down here and secure the city if they can or attack the enemy. And here is the cavalry. Not exactly here, man, more somewhere here. I don't know, like there. I will 
go south and look for an attack angle. Okay, got it. Uh, so, um, and third is possibly to, uh, is also to search for a high ground to place the artillery to, um, be able to shoot at the ships yeah. that are going to evacuate to the British. I will be back pretty soon. Yeah. Okay, uh... Five six four. You got your screenshots already? Yeah. Oh uh, no, didn't get one. Me neither. Um, where are the pieces, by the way? The forest. Let's see, they are pulled from the scripted pieces, right? Okay, so please split up on to the audio channels. Aye, aye. That was mine. Uh, I'm not so sure. Um, Justin said you could stay, but that's probably probably uh, missed that I think because first cavalry is in the south so you should go to blue 5 west channel So which sort of units do we need? It's infantry, sea, wagons, artillery, horse artillery. Chasseur, cheval, so that's chasseurs, dragoons. Should be it. Okay. Some red forces for the British wagons. Infantry and commanders, where are the commanders? Division and core, okay. Hello, because we're all in the same location, I'm just going to... I, I'm currently... You're close enough to each other to speak. I'm just going to give a screenshot of... To... Um, is the first cavalry further south? The first cavalry is immediately behind you. The third cavalry is further south. 
but the senior cavalry commander is Hussein. Okay. Oh, I got that, yeah. First and second cavalry division, yeah, all right. Actually, let me just mm. fix but you at the 90 degree angle, so we'll go with the convention of up is north. Mm -hmm. There we are. Cool. So you're close enough to speak, and Hussein is like immediately behind you to the right. Wait, okay. mm, where's 130? Searching for number. Where's 130, sorry? Yeah, um, because there are people there. Oh, yeah, now I found it. Yeah. Okay. All right, no problem. Got a screenshot for me? Um, I yeah, I'll give everyone. I'll give the I'll give the screenshots and at least so you have something to discuss. Well, uh, yeah. Um. So it is still raining lightly. The ground is quite soggy, but. The screenshot you can see, I'll give this to both of you because you're immediately next to each other, is Yeah, I was just asking to pull my force together. Because I'm not sure if you're taking a block as a battalion or as a half battalion or whatever. Um Ah, oh, okay, interesting. Mm. Where's this uh, 1145 picture? Can't really make out where on the map it is. Not so sure what you were talking about. Um, your position, yes, that's... Um... Yeah, the one where uh, they're surrounding the British. Where is that? Surrounding the British. So from what I can see on my screenshot, you're right behind me <clears throat> uh, on hill 191. That is in row number five, column two. Did you got that? And then we have a screen of British. 191, yeah. Yep. Okay, so I need to pull my brigade commanders as well. That's cool. Oh, I already got them. But I missed the core command. The core is. There we go. We spawned a bit different than we imagined. Mm, I think uh, you since uh, since we have multiple uh, cavalry divisions, so I think you're with the second and the third is PC right now, since we are not so many players. Yeah, it seems that that is um, the. The single brigade is down there, third brigade or whatever. So we have the dragoons here. We have their brigade commanders here. We got horse artillery there. Division commander 
I, I can stream again. So that's what I got. Yeah, I think we got all the same. Yeah, we did. And skirmishes, how do you spawn skirmishes with these? Assault column, marching column, square, line. Where, hey. where do you spawn the skirmish blocks? Um, I'm going to kidnap Simi into the side channel for a sec so we can talk while Up talks to the others. One sec. Uh, nope, not gone there. Jan, hello? Hello. Hello. So are you salt? No, that's Sam. Uh, okay, so that's Sam, is it? Okay. So just, um, you've got your screenshot, yeah? Uh, yeah, I did. Right, so obviously you can see what you can see. You've probably been told it's been raining heavily through the night, uh, through the morning, and it's now raining lightly. Um, all that you can see at the moment is um, off, the, off in the distance, you can see... Uh, a line of possible skirmishes in the hill ahead of you, and that's about it. What do you want to do? Uh, one question is the ground muddy, or I like, guess it's broken. The ground is very muddy, so I would expect conditions on the ground and with rivers to be what you'd expect if it had been raining all through the night. Okay, I the third division is scouting soft. So the, the South Division, um, the Third Division, which is um, Sombre, is that? Mm, I think. Uh, but is Third Division even controlled by anyone? Like by a player? At uh, the moment, at the moment, Sol's got the um, Sam's got the um, the artillery and the cavalry. And Jan, you're commanding... I don't know who you're commanding, Jan, actually, to be fair. You're commanding um, Merle, aren't you? Yes. Grand. Uh, am I assuming right that my third brigade is on my left flank? Um, the 3E, yes. Yes. So you've got 1E, 3E, yep. and 2E is, is south of you, yeah. Okay, cool. So what are the orders, gentlemen? Um, another question. Do we have to worry about the quality of our gunpowder? I would suggest if it's been raining, it just, yeah, anything that you'd expect to go wrong because of the rain, I'd expect it to go wrong. <laughs> Okay, so uh, my orders are to probe forward with the complete line, so all three brigades. Okay. Um, first brigade, don't know if the others have artillery, but first brigade will prepare the assault with artillery bombardment. And we get the skirmishers up to, to probe their positions and get an overview. I will move over to second brigade to get into the center of my... Formation. Okay, so you're going to second brigade, and then you want the, your first and third brigade just to move forward to probe the line to see where they are, yeah? Yes. Grand. 
And you leave your artillery where it is at the moment? Yes. Grand. Salt. Um, this, uh, one question, where's my um, reserve artillery that is under my command? Um, that's a damn fine question. <laughs> Maybe that's the artillery in front, I don't know. Is that, I think that's the artillery in front. I think that's what it is. It's the core artillery that's got you in front of you, in front of 1A. Yeah, three battalion oh. foot and then the uh, horse. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't look like the actual brigade have artillery mm -hmm. attached themselves. Good. Okay, so then that's it's your call about the artillery. Uh, yeah. Like, um, they are to shoot, like Jan said. Okay. And is there anyone else here? Is uh, Simeon play, uh, playing as well, just observing? Uh, Simeon is in command of the cavalry. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's in command yeah. of the cavalry. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, For now, I'm just staying in reserve. Okay, cool. Go on, thanks, gentlemen. Thank you. No problem. So what we probably can do, I mean, the probing is just to get an overview of their position and find out how they, how deep they are. Um, yeah. What we can probably do is a sort of coordinated combined arms attack. Yeah, that was, uh, I was also thinking about that, but uh, I think the problem is the ground is probably not good. Yeah, probably so. So that would be... Uh, not so good idea right now. Maybe we I mean, to... ideally we could like prepare with the artillery and then have one uh, cavalry brigade, I guess. Are these brigades or divisions? Uh, brigade um, left of first, my first brigade and one on the right of first brigade and then probe forward, force the enemy into squares hit them with the artillery and then my first brigade goes into assault columns and goes in. But the ground is uh, a concern indeed. Oh, I think probably to retreat behind the creek. Yeah, the question is how much time they want to buy with, with those forces. Problem being, we have not all day, and, yep. and here we go. That's true. Uh, are these Hussars or Dragoons in the screenshot? Those are Dragoons. Um, still not sure how these pieces spawn the skirmish thing, so column, marching column, square line. Hmm. Ah, I think you have to flip them. Yeah. And, uh, and spawn skirmishers. I remember. Hmm. Where is that? There's the assault column. What's that? There is marching column, there's square. And line, that's it. States are broken and shattered. Hmm. I don't know. Amentis, hi, good to see you. Yep, we are using the scripted pieces today. Um, trying to figure out <laughs> how to spawn the skirmish, skirmisher line pieces from the battalions, but uh, I don't know. Let's ask in the general chat.
Yeah, I think it's an, an it's a neat way to be able to like switch. Um, I'm not so fond about the these values here for manpower, morale, ammo. Um, it's a yeah, it's really a question about how detailed you want to get with these, but it's cool to have it all in the piece and in the in the block, so to say, and to be able to edit that quickly and to switch here. Although I don't know, I, I like the switching with the with the states, but that way you can get more into that, so you don't need. Um, disruption markers or anything you can just switch to breaking so that's cool Damon put a lot of work into these which is always appreciated yeah and we're doing a little bit different today so I'll be playing this here it's uh, the Inspired by the French pursuit of the British at La Coruña. So this is sort of inspired by the Battle of La Coruña. The British are trying to to defend against a French attack under Marshal Soult. Napoleon is just coming to Spain and smashing the British around. And the British are trying to get out. So this is uh, 1809. They are trying to evacuate, uh, evacuate their army. Here, um, this is supposed to be the ocean, and here is the British transport fleet. And um, can I remember who was in command? I think he even died here. Did did he die at La Coruña? I think the general died. Who was that? Can't remember. Anyway, um, so historically. The British managed to delay the French attack uh, to be able to embark most of their troops and get them out of out of Spain and return later to Portugal. Then, but that's the historical story about that. So now I'm here, first division. That is uh, General de Division Merle. We have cavalry here with us and co commander suit. We have a division coming up here and another one either on this road or on this road. We're not sure. And we got some scouting cavalry down here. A small brigade, mixed brigade, light brigade of hussars and uh, chasseur à cheval. And I'm not sure if they got dragoons as well, but it doesn't really matter. Click the manpower counter. What the hell is the manpower counter? The manpower counter. There's the infinite bag, that's just... Different stuff, right? Gray... I'm just checking here, version notes, advanced... What is this doing? Did I just crash my TDS? Oh! What, what is it doing? Huh? I have no clue what this does. You cannot submit. Yeah, so let's cancel that. And, uh, oh, that's a fog of war. That's cool. Nice. So you can, ah, Damon. Damon is a genius. 
So you can just hide all the pieces you want for the for the screenshots. Cool, that's that's great. Wow, I'm impressed. So if you are able to script, you actually can do lots of stuff with, with TDS. <laughs> uh, it's nothing I'm uh, experienced with, but anyway. So what I wanted to say is, uh, while I'm playing this game here, I'm uh, going to work a little bit on the new website for the IKS. So the International Kriegspiel Society. This is uh, a game we are playing today is the usual open Saturday slot, which uh, starts at 5 p.m. Central European time. And uh, everybody is uh, welcome to join. Right now our website is down because we got some issues with the hoster or the provider. Um, or actually the provider got some, some problems with us, with us but uh, yeah. <laughs> money involved and they don't want to give it back that sort of story so we are rebuilding we are using this opportunity to rebuild our website completely however when you visit krikspiel.org you will nevertheless find the link to our discord server there so you're welcome to join yeah <laughs> it's like i mean that's so weird Oh, we charge you twice, but in order to to get your money back, you need to pay it again and and pay twenty five dollars on top, and then maybe we give you your money back. So what? Anyways, um, the website needed some work anyway. It was using a very annoying uh, visual editor, I must say. Which I already knew from work, and yeah, that was uh, was a her horrible thing to work with. So there's that. We're rebuilding that, making it more accessible, making it uh, a resources hub with maps and all that stuff, so that people who are interested in Kriegspiel or designing their own scenarios or games can easily find them and use them, because we have so many cool stuff gathered over time. This one should be limbered. Uh, why not share that? It's all openly accessible on the web, so that's a cool opportunity. I don't know if my bot is working again. Let's check IKS. No, it's not. I have no clue why that is. Maybe I need to set up another one. Anyway. While we are waiting for reports, we can start working on that. And uh, you probably don't want to see that, so... Hmm. Or do you? Do you want to see WordPress backend? <laughs> if you want, let me know. Otherwise, um, I'll just do it here on my own. X69, that's cool. Uh, so... Let me grab the page. There we go. And somewhere, what's that? I am with a. Wait, what? Where are they even? Alright, General Simeon Lusse. Yep. Uh, you've seen the first brigade going forward in front yep. of Silt. So, where is. Oh, Merle is now on a separate channel. So, let me move Merle. Jan, you're Merle, I think? Yes. Alright. You should be in blue too. It looks like someone else is there already. Um, Okay. Ah, so my brigade is okay. That's interesting. Hang on a sec. Hmm. 
No, that makes a little bit more sense. Okay, so it's actually like this. So, yeah, can you please please move to blue too? Because you are now separated enough from soot and yes, sir. Uh, Okay, so apparently my uh, Deuxième Brigade d'Infanterie, Second Infantry Brigade, is down here and not as supposed in the center of my line. So that was <laughs> why I was asking uh, if they are on my left hand side. But, anyways, they are down here at the crossroads, which we need to clear anyway because Second Division is coming up, Deuxième Division. That means I will bring this brigade into assault columns, make them ready to strike against this brigade here. From what I can see, I think the British have brigades of three battalions, but I'm not sure if that's the case. Anyways, uh, so we are tired from marching, but so should be the British. Uh, only thing as Sam pointed out, is the ground, so the weather, raining, um, muddy ground, that will have an impact on our assaults. What I would like to see, actually, is cavalry probing here, cavalry probing here, forcing these units into squares, then artillery blasting away against the squares and assault columns smashing through that would be Napoleonic, Napoleonic warfare at its best if you can get that going especially with uh, skirmisher support so imagine here are skirmish lines from these battalions their voltigeur companies are out skirmishing in front so they screen the assault columns they support the artillery and harass the enemy so that's pretty cool, and then if we have the space, I think, to get some cavalry support in, just to threaten the enemy. No need to attack them right now, just threaten them, allow the artillery to prepare, the infantry to smash through, and once they are broken and there is space, I mean, probably not, but if there was space, the cavalry could then use that and smash through here as well, and pursue and write down the fleeing, the broken enemy units. But maybe that is just a wish. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna get these into assault columns. Just ready and wait here. Some skirmishes out in front to screen them. And then I go back to Sult and let him know that my second brigade is actually down here. Not up there, which is all right because uh, third division should come up there at some point. For now, we are sort of probing. The only problem I see is are there enemies further north, or actually, that would be west. We're playing this orientation, so would, would there be enemies here that could threaten my left flank? The creek is somewhat protecting it, but yeah, it's a creek. Nick, hello. Okay, Jan? Yeah, sorry. hello. You here? Yeah, sorry, Jan. We have a small problem uh, with um, one of the Empire, and uh, I will uh, 
for sometimes take care of you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what were your orders previous turn? You you stay on on uh, on your location. You didn't no, move. I, I went south. So I started the turn with uh, Sul and stuff, and with my first brigade. Then I went south. I'm now with second brigade. Okay. And uh, first and third were to probe the enemy in front. And now for this turn, or do you want to take orders for this turn, or? Yes, if you have, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I need to get the second brigade off these crossroads, and I want to do that by moving them slightly to the northwest. They shall um, uh, deploy a skirmish line to screen them and deploy into assault columns, and I myself will go back to Sult. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. So you are sorry. I'm just taking over. So I just yeah, need no to find all the. No so worries. first division. Where is the other part of the first division? Yeah. So I have my. <clears throat> let Let me see. My third division is on that hill one eight one. That's my left flank. Close to the to the creek. Yes. Then in the center there is the first brigade. The artillery is actually under suit suits command, and then the second brigade I'm currently with is further to the south near Hill One Eight Five, the crossroads, the T crossroads. Yeah. Yep. But sorry, you 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 are in charge. You are playing Merle Division, or you are playing the Sult. No, I'm um, first division Merle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. Ah, yeah, no, I got it. Okay. So, uh, okay. So first brigade. Um, well, no, it's the second brigade is uh, is moving in column. Is moving in uh, column. You say well. Yeah, they they shall form assault columns and yeah. deploy there around the. Uh, 162 and yes. deploy a skirmish line in front to screen them. I don't want them to attack right now. Okay. Just so that we get the crossroads open in case a uh, second division is coming up this road. Okay. And you personally, you are moving back to Sult? Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, Marischal Sult <laughs> didn't fit on there. Or oh, is he? Is he? Is he a Marischal in eighteen oh nine? I know he. There were some some uh, some arguments about that and. I think it took quite some time. Yeah, he is Marshal. Okay, in 1809 he is. I think he wanted to become Marshal after Austerlitz. Um, he had a strong opinion that his attack on the Pratzen Heights should have granted him the baton. But it didn't. But apparently in 1809 he, he was a, made a Marshal. Okay, interesting. Jean de Dieu Soult, deuxième corps de l'armée d'Espagne. All right. Ah, this should be deuxième. When, what's up there? I don't know. Who cares? Um, so that is then me, Merle. Premier division, deuxième corps. Now I'm currently down here. I'm now moving back to Sult. And I'm not sure which of the pieces is the cavalry commander. So division commander de la Usseille and Lorge. So probably this one is gone then. Okay. 
not sure why why the cavalry division only this division has brigade commanders but anyway probably a fault in the setup So Damon says to spawn skirmishes, flip over and then click the counter on the left. Click the counter on the right, click the counter on the left and it spawns smoke token and reduces ammo. Ah ha ha! Oh! Oh! Oh, got it. Yeah, there we go. And is this important which piece it actually is? I mean, this can spawn endless skirmishes. <laughs> Let, let's build a tower of skirmishes. Okay, so we have skirmishes up front just to to do it right skirmishes from there and i have ordered to deploy skirmishes here that should be enough skirmishes so they will screen here and these folks will go into assault columns And probably, I don't know, like so. Be screened by skirmishes. And these guys should be screening ahead. And now just to get it right for the British replace their skirmishes as well might be riflemen who knows uh the 96th rifles were at corunia as i said rifleman harris has written some of his uh, memories about especially about this uh, episode of the peninsula war because it left quite an impression on him because of yeah the starvation and uh, disease and all that stuff I was talking with Dave previously before the game started that uh, interestingly like veterans oftentimes don't talk so much about the actual combat situations but more about what's going on around so when you read the memories of Rifleman Harris then you'll find that he is just like briefly and casually talking about men being shot dead right beside him during combat. But he goes on lengthy pages on pages on pages about how hard and tough the retreat was, the marching, how many soldiers and, and I mean, they had their wives with them and all that stuff. Um, some got children on the march and how they died and then froze along the road and so many starved to death and died of, of uh, disease and all that stuff. So that's, yeah takes much more place in his memories than the actual very deadly combat situations he was in. That's that's quite interesting. Might be a psychological thing there. Maybe it's like that you think you have some agency in a, in a combat situation. Like if you only do fight <laughs> uh, you can make it but you can't just make like just by marching evade starvation so to say anyways um, that's that should be the situation next turn okay
back to the website. Where is my overview of what I wanted to put there? Brainstorming ideas. There you go. There you go. I think I pinned it there somewhere. Yes. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 13, 14, 15 pages in total, at least. And then I have all the feeds and that stuff. 15 pages. We got that, we got that. And we got this one, which we can trash. We have a draft which we can trash. This one can go into the bin as well. Does it have some templates here in the WordPress? Let me know if you want to see the WordPress backend. I mean, there are no information you shouldn't be able to see i guess yeah no um let's do the general settings first so let's quick spiel tagline quick spiel society url administration Don't need that English. Well, what would be the time zone? <clears throat> Do we just leave it as uh, at uh, universal time? Oh, there's the next screenshot already. Speeding up, speeding up. Do they already pull back? Do I see that? I can't see no smoke on the guns. What's happening? And these guys are actually more like so. Got them flying pieces already. Oh, which is due to how the map is set up and, and stuff. So these pushed a little bit forward. And I think I'm allowed to go back to sort. Hello, I'm back. Hello. Good day, gentlemen. Good day. Good day. Okay, you see your skirmishers pushing forward, and they are fighting against the British line. The British have, are falling back behind the hill. They do not dare face your artillery, but your skirmishers are struggling to force their skirmishers off the hill. There's no good targets for your artillery up there at the moment. Um, they could turn south and try and fire against the brigade down in front of your assault columns, but they were trying to get good shots at the people that they were menacing off the hill. Uh, do you want to commit to an attack on the hill 186, or do you want to just keep edging around the area, or you could commit cavalry, or how do you want to handle this? Um, I would love to see what we talked about previously, uh, cavalry support in the gaps between my brigades, and then we launch an attack in assault columns. Shall we do that? Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah. But I All think right. they are pulling away right now. Yeah, but they, I mean, it's hard to move backwards and have an enemy in front. So if we press them now, that's a, probably a good, good point. Yeah. 
So then I want all my brigades and assault columns, um, skirmishers screening them ahead, and then we go in. Okay, so, so you want One of them goes through the gap uh, up, and one of them goes through the gap down from the Hussars. And uh, not a Dragoon. Yep. So on the left and the right of my first brigade, and I go yep. in with first brigade. Okay, um, and you want the you want to put the dragoons in? You said. Yeah. Throw them in. Um, which one? Yep. Your, your personal division, or you want to send the second division in? Uh, both. One on the top, one on the uh, bottom. Like, okay. you know, there's hundred and eighty-five. The point one, the one that's below go, just goes in. The one, the one that's top goes over okay. the one eighty-five. All right, no problem. And the goal is to try and. Um, Try and ride them down, or what? No, uh, what do you tr I, I want to force square formation. Okay, no problem. And if you force square, then you want to try and avoid charging. Yep, no worries. Yeah, yeah then my assault column's good. Okay, thank you very much. Also, um, I did get a message from uh, Third Cavalry. Um, so they have scouted the enemy left flank and it's end short of Gul uh, Konope Yani. Uh, the enemy on his flank bears red and green uniforms and moves in good order but is oh. lacking in cavalry. Um, they could attack the flank but they will need infantry support because um, uh, the flank is weak there, uh, so I have sent uh, second division a message to go there and help third cavalry to pressure the flank. That sounds hey. good. Yeah. Do we know which road uh, second division is on already? Uh, yes, uh, on turn nine. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, but he's uh, going anyways eastwards. Yes. To the forest, he has said in his mm -hmm. message. Yeah, so now the question is then about the green uniforms. Uh, probably a rifleman there down south. Uh, I would probably send a message to third division because I didn't mm -hmm. hear of him. Yeah, that'd be good. I don't know if there is space enough, but maybe you can also send in the horse artillery battery for close range support. Might be easier to get them up uh, than the reserve. What's that? Foot artillery? So that's core reserve. I don't think I have horse artillery. Oh no, there's a small, there's a section. <clears throat> yeah, 
Yeah, the question really is whether the enemy has further troops to our north, so facing 3rd Division. I mean, if they have a complete line extended down south, that's interesting. That would mean this here is the anchor point, huh? I so said maybe you could redirect the uh, foot artillery batteries to our right to hill 169. I guess that's where there should be a good target. Who should you re redirect them? Uh, Sam, because they are part of the core reserve. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where do you want them? Uh, on sort of on my right flank, on the hill one six nine near the creek. Mm -hmm. They should be where I mean the enemy is falling back to the creek anyway, so we they could shoot along the the creek valley, and that should also be the point where there are the most like massed uh, enemy formations because I mean if their line I assume their line is going from there from this point down south, where the cavalry reported their end to be. So if they retreat to the... well, the east, which is the north, um, there should be many mass battalions and the artillery could concentrate fire onto them. Yeah. But probably I will go anyways to the north, because I realized um, that's our only artillery that we have. And no one adds this. Artillery. Yeah, that's right, that's right. So, I will probably go later with 3rd Division and place them on hill. Okay, right, yeah. Yeah, then maybe the send uh, send the horse artillery battery there. That should be under your command as well. Uh, yeah. Right, so what do you think about our current situation? What do we got here with us? Amentus is still here, Emanuele and uh, Stefan's strategy. Hello, hello. Let me know what you think. I can probably remove these text thingies no need for those so and the artillery is being pulled out by core command and brought over here probably so that we can potentially hit the the fleet there the transport fleet they will have some warships but not so many. Mainly transports.
Looks like a strong assault. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I mean, if we catch, if we can catch them, uh, we should be able to do so before they reach the creek, and then they have the creek directly to the rear. And if we can catch them, that should be a advantageous position for us, as long as they don't have batteries over here catching us. But we do not assume so for now. So, especially with the cavalry support, I really hope this pays off. Ideally, we would have had more uh, preparing artillery bombardment, but as they are pulling back behind the hill crest here, we cannot hit them anyway. So, so it's good to me. I'm not sure, maybe I should uh, next turn then, after seeing how it, this goes, go to the horse artillery battery and direct their fire. Yeah, potentially. Alrighty, alrighty. I'm curious to see how this how this goes. I mean British light infantry isn't bad either, so maybe they delay us long enough. They got a little bit of fire superiority with the skirmishers on our flanks, but only slightly. Once the assault columns go in, that shouldn't be much of an issue anymore. Then it only comes down to whether these guys get across quickly enough or not. Considering the weather conditions and the ground conditions, they will probably find it a bit hard to get down these slopes and through the creek and up the other side. So I hope to line up along the creek as a result of the attack. Then reorder the men, reform the lines, see what the situation is uh, on our flanks if the 3rd Division has come up at this point and uh, then renew the assault. <clears throat> Because we, we should assume these blocks here to be human beings. There are no, no robots we can push on and on without any pause. Alright. Let me, in the meantime, do some settings for the website. Looks good. Week starts on Monday, yes please. Post via email, that's not necessary. That is that we need a page for these. Email me comments all right. Uh, Automatically close comments? No, I think we don't need that. Our task is good. It's also good. Comment settings for the hyperlinks. Put the post name there. Yeah, category and 
attack base, that's for later. Let's see the policy guide. Do we have one already? Should collect policies of WordPress. That's good. I should keep an eye on Discord, maybe. <laughs> Do we have a new report? Not yet. Ain't there a page for... No, uh, oh, actually not. Okay, so let's get that one back. Restore. And this one goes away. Okay, let's just say uh, nothing we could use for a, an actual policy. We need to grab one or write one down. Oh good lord, what's going on? My Twitters are exploding! No! Let's see what this is all about. <laughs> okay, it's all about a talk I did on with two of my colleagues well, last week, Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday, was that? Yes. At the University of Salzburg in Austria. Oh, we did it online, although one of us was present there. But... Uh, Basti and I were connected via Webex. Okay. It's just some blah blah. Oh, 
All right, so that is that. You know, Damon joined us for umpiring. That's cool. Haven't talked to him in a while. So he's the busy man. <laughs> but in between, he's scripting these pieces and uh, also uh, putting lots of work into Photoshop to improve some maps. Pretty, pretty awesome work, actually. Can't wait to see in the new Lynchburg map cleaned up and make ready to play. Oh, why, why am I staying behind? I wanted to be with my man. And what's the artillery doing there? What is happening? Oh, good lord. Command confusion. We got command confusion. Attention. That's not so good. Hello. Hello, Marshal Salt. Um, oh. So you see the attack. Heading in, see the ca the cavalry disappear out of sight westward, uh, and you hear the sounds of some fire, gunfire going on, and more cavalry heads that direction. You see General Hussein following his troops east to see what's going on, and you see uh, the French infantry, first division, shaking out into assault column and heading east to the march of the drums behind their skirmishers closing on the enemy line. The enemy have fallen back almost completely out of your view, but you can you can see you make out a what looks like a couple of squares towards the, the bridge itself. So it looks like the front you can see, it looks like the carry is doing a good job at forcing them into um, squares. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Um. Uh, do, where's the baggage train? Uh, the baggage train is west. Is west. Uh, west. Of, you can see it behind you. It's or on the. It's off the road beside the road um, west of one nine one. Um, I would like uh, to move up. Okay, where do you want to move up to? At hill one eight five. Hill one eight five. Hang on. Uh, it's near the artillery thing. Oh yes, it's underneath there. I see it. Uh, and my horse artillery is also to um join to the um other artillery. Okay. Uh, and I also move up to Sima. You also which, sorry? Uh, I move up to okay. Hill 185. Alright, no problem. Yeah, I'll be joining my 1st Brigade and uh, push them forward. Uh, ideally, we want to catch the enemy before they are able to, to cross the creek. No problem. I'll let Nick, ta Nick take your orders for that. Okay. And I will head up. Hi, Jan. So, Hello. what are your orders? I want to join my 1st Brigade and push them forward. Um, the complete division is attacking. And yes. Ideally, we want to catch the enemy before they can cross the creek. So that the terrain pays in our favor here. And um, 
I'm not so sure if I understood correctly. So the, the cavalry went through the gaps and is to our north, threatening the enemy, right? So the cavalry is... Do you see hill 186.3? Yes. So the cavalry is just to the east of this uh, hill. So it, uh, it's just hidden to you. Okay. I mean, comp well, looking, well, um, based on your position, on your location, current location, the, the cavalry is on, on the other side of this hill. Yeah. Yeah, then we need uh, the infantry to hurry a little bit if the enemy is already that far. Okay, so the three brigade are moving forward with attack order. Yes. Okay. And you are joining uh, the commander of the 1st Brigade. Exactly, yep. Okay, yes. thank you. Thank you. Artillery is not under your command. No, that's right. Okay, thanks. So, but uh, that means they have guns there, probably on the other side of the creek. Can hear them. Yeah. Okay, so that's interesting. Um, the enemy got further than I had hoped. And we are lacking behind. <clears throat> so these forces are actually a little bit further behind, like so. That is an issue. Oops. And we went into slowly here, and these guys are here. Yeah. And for whatever reason, the artillery is in front. Uh, obviously, Limbert. Uh, I really need to dig for some uh, license free Napoleonic music, I think, for the background here. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Let me see, can we find something there on YouTube? On the YouTube? YouTube.com. Probably not, I assume. Are there like pipe and drum bands? Pipe and drum Napoleonics. Drum and Five, a uh, collection of marching music or credits go to, yep. So that's not usable for us. I think um, there's a filter with licensed stuff, right? Creative Commons. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, sure, do that. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, I, I hope so too. I fear they will be too slow to catch them. And that the artillery is currently playing on the cavalry here. That might be an issue. But um, we will see. Interesting that the enemy was able to, to move out so quickly. And we were not. Although we were obviously forming into assault columns. But yeah. See you later then. Thank you. Bethlehem of the of the Republic. So that's probably not Napoleonics. Large battle. Yeah, no. For drums and checkos. That might be something I want to watch later, though. Put it into my playlist. Um, Napoleonic music, maybe that's better. French military marches and fanfares. Is that really under Creative Commons though? Because I don't think so. Oh, let me see first before we get a strike here by Twitch. How is this considered to be under Creative Commons? Is the filter still on? No, it is not. Thank you. Let's see here. Ballet music by Kranikov. Hmm. Do we want to hear some ballet music? I mean, why not, but... The Chanson de l'Oignon Which is quite a hilarious song, but... Sinfonia C Dur Pa, pa, pa. But that's performed by Bohemian Symphony Orchestra Budweiser, so that's probably also not under Creative Commons. Why why are people doing this to me? Don't tag it as Creative Commons, you fools. Ah. Yeah, maybe then let's just play the five and drum. Question is on which channel do I have that? On this one or on this account? Probably on this one. Playlists. Huh? Now I'm confused.
Where did this playlist go? <laughs> I have no clue. What the hell? Oh, and I'm seeing a day for streaming as well, and I'm not taking a look at this because he is streaming the umpire table, obviously. Oh no, he's not. He is, um, what's that, second division? Yeah, he's second division, so he's operating somewhere down here. Interesting. So if you want to get another, another uh, impression of this battle from the French perspective, Go check out Dave Pumphouse on YouTube. He's live streaming right now. Right now. Ah, there is it. ACW music. Not quite fitting, but just so we have something in the back. Hope that's not too loud. Oh, maybe a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> so <laughs> the atmosphere is a bit off, but yeah, that's fine. And Rob is also watching. Hello. Adelina, hello. And all the other folks in the chat. Thanks for stopping by. <clears throat> we are playing La Cruña today uh, with the International Kriegspiel Society. Uh, if you have any questions about Kriegspiel, let me know in the chat. So some of you might not be familiar with spiel and how it works and what it is all about so please let me know if that's the case uh, you are all of you are welcome to join us in the international Kriegspiel society on krigspiel.org uh, which is currently being uh, overhauled it's our website you will anyway find a link to the discord server to join us and play in our open saturday games we have a live game every saturday at 5 p.m central european time and uh, ad hoc games and various text-based games so you're welcome to join So maybe I can give you a quick overrun of the scenario for all of you who have joined late. So this is, it's not the actual map of the area of course, but um, it's also not even a, an actual coastline. Uh, right here there's a river along this blue area. I just painted it over so this, what is actually the eastern bank of this river is supposed to be the Atlantic Ocean. And this town here is supposed to be the city in uh, Spanish Galicia, the um, La Coruña. And the scenario is thus set in, uh, in the year 1809. The French uh, corps under Marshal Soult, second corps of the Armée d'Espagne, uh, is pursuing the British expeditionary force, which is falling back. Um, through rather harsh weather, rain and uh, cold weather. Um, so both armies are sort of ragged from the conditions, weather conditions. And 
The British are trying to fall back and evacuate their expeditionary army, basically. Um, so here is an, a transport fleet ashore and uh, the, yeah, the British are trying to fall back while we are trying to press them and prevent them from getting out there. Um, historically this battle happened and the British actually managed to delay the French long enough. They, they won the Battle of La Coruña and enabled their army to get out and um, they brought them back to England, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, got them back into shape and then shipped them to Lisbon, to Portugal again. Um, so 1809 is when uh, Napoleon personally comes to Spain to take command of the situation and um, put an end to the cradle of his marshals and commanders in Spain and uh, managed to beat the, the Spanish army which is on, on the flight and being pursued by other parts of the French army and um, yeah, the British army which needs to get out and then he returns to Austria and, and beats them afterwards but anyways we get a new screenshot. So, and we started here. Uh, I'm in command of uh, the French 1st Division under Merle. Um, I'm here with the Corps Commander Soult. Where is he? Here is Soult. And with the Cavalry Reserve, which is currently facing the enemy in front of us. We are in assault columns here, three brigades, and we are pushing in. The idea is to catch these formations here, these battalions, before they can cross this creek. Um, I hope the terrain, so um, the mushy ground from the from the rain, is going to help us and slow down the enemy, so that we can hit them here in a disrupted situation. But uh, we hear already that the enemy has guns deployed on the hills on the other side of the creek and is uh, probably shooting at excuse me at our dragoons, maybe also on the second division which was coming in on this road we didn't know whether it would come in on this road or this road and we have a third division up here they are ordered to take these high grounds deploy the guns and yeah threaten the transport fleet or the town that's basically the idea and the, the special thing with Kriegspiel is uh, it was developed back in the early um, 19th century so uh, from the experience of the Napoleonic Wars the Reiswitz family the father and the son developed uh, the, the Kriegspiel the famous version of Kriegspiel we know about when we talk about Kriegspiel that's mostly what we what we think about um, which was then used in the Prussian army and then spread all through Europe and was used in various armies later on in various different uh, iterations and systems more rules heavy less rules heavy uh, to sort of simulate command situations without needing to actually field troops somewhere for training reasons uh, in the field and yeah it is played double blind so i only know that these troops are here um, I don't know where exactly 3rd Division is, I don't know where exactly 2nd Division is. I know that there is also a light cavalry brigade on our far right, uh, scouting the flank of the British positions here. And uh, obviously I don't know what the enemy has, so these troops here in front of my division, these battalions here with their skirmisher line is all we know about right now. And we will have to wait for reports from uh, from the, is that first cavalry. No, that's not. And do we have a new report? Mm, no, I saw it though. Uh, and it's all processed through umpires. So the umpires, the so to say game masters, they have a table with all the pieces on it, obviously, and they are processing the game based on the screenshot. 
Yep, just got it right now. Like, it has brought some fu uh, fruits. Doesn't look too bad, although the cavalry is doing some weird stuff. Okay, yeah, that's interesting. Cool. So, skirmishes are gone back into their battalions. Okay, I am going to separate you both. Yeah, can you go to blue too? Alright. Thank you. Good. Okay, we just got another screenshot of the current situation, at least of what we can see. That is based on where my command uh, piece is, this one. And I'm just adjusting my table to what I can see over here. Got some broken and shattered enemy formations. We got a small, very small section of guns over here, and I don't know about these battalions. They potentially got out. Maybe. Now I'm trying to figure out where my forces are actually positioned. So these skirmishes are gone. These guys are pressing here, which is good. And they should continue. It's all a bit chaotic right now. The guns are now further behind, yeah, because of the ground conditions, obviously. But they brought up the horse guns. And we went in. Where is Seward now? He is back. He is somewhere with the guns. Like so. Doesn't matter really. Uh, let's get the dragoons somewhat out of the way because. These are further up here. Like so, that is the cavalry commander, these are the skirmishers, these skirmishers are gone. The brigade is... Hi, Jan. Hello. Um, did you already get a feedback from uh, Justin or not yet? No. Not yet. So, okay, so basically your second brigade has attacked the enemy square uh, in front of them. Mm -hmm. And they shattered two of them. And uh, you can also see that um, the French cavalry um, is attacking uh, the enemy, uh, trying to cross across, uh, yet yeah, cross the, the, the stream. Mm -hmm. So, do you continue your all? Um, you, you, your attack? Do you change something to your orders? Um, let me see. No, I think we are good to continue the attack. I will um, move personally to join the... Oh no, I can actually see them. Okay, no. Then I will stay where I am with my first brigade and lead them into combat. Okay. I think we are good. Thank you. Thank you.
Clasper, hi. Nice to see you. How are you doing? So it turns out that the attack uh, eventually yeah, turned out in our favor. So it worked out, although the cavalry is, is disrupted and spent in some points. Let me see, where get I? Where do we get the half battery there? That's the one. That is the one. Yeah, come on. That should be here somewhere. And it does spawn smoke, right? Huh, it does. But not in front of the section. Too bad. But that's cool anyway. And where does this one sit? Got a feeling that all of this is slightly more condensed than I have it, but doesn't matter too much. Like so and so and so. These guys a little bit more over here. Hopefully not charging the squares. They are shot by artillery and we don't know about these two battalions. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. I don't know what Sud is doing here with his guns. We talked about him bringing them up to uh, third division, troisième division up there, and the horse guns down here. But yeah, that's Sam maybe. Sometimes he has his own thing going, which isn't too bad. He has become quite a good commander, I must say. Concerning core command. And also, although he is still famous for being the ever-charging commander, he has displayed very, very uh, good um, delaying actions, actually. So, I think he's a very good example for how, how people do improve by playing. After all, Kriegspiel is always about learning, you know? Making mistakes, learning, trying to communicate, that's trying to, to figure out based on limited information what the situation is and what you probably should do. That's what I what I like about it. Not so much the actual military part on it, but the the meta game so to say. So Kriegspiel is not about winning the game. It's about um, learning adopting different tactics um, connected to the period and situation and try to coordinate with your fellow commanders which i don't really have to do right now because i'm with the core command and he's taking care of that he's taking care of what's going on on the flank so there's no point in me sending a dispatch to Dave, for example, who is uh, with 2nd Division somewhere in, in this area. Or to our 3rd Division commander. But if I would be somewhere on the on the flank with Dave, let's say, I'm, I'm over here. And Sewell is over there maybe, then I would have to coordinate. And that I can do either by riding over and meet him. And talk to him in the voice channel. Like I did previously with uh, Sam. Who was sitting with me here. Um, or I write a dispatch via my player channel on Discord and we have a bot for that. Felix has programmed a bot for us, which is pretty cool. So it makes it uh, a lot easier to transfer messages and then keep an overview of the message flow you got. Uh, it happens from time to time that messages are lost. Anyways. But the message bot helps out a little bit. Mm. 
Okay, um, on the screenshot I can barely see a green unit. Uh, 30. About here. Oops. Here. And I'm, I'm not so sure which... Are these Portuguese? Did the British have Portuguese? Infantry at Corunia? Can't really remember. Otherwise, these might be uh, 96 rifles. Who we certainly were at Corunia, but I'm not so sure about the, the Portuguese. Let's find out. Battle of La Corunia, 1809. on a Monday, January 16th. Ah, Sir John Moore. Ah, I remember now. And I think he was he was shot during the battle. And historically it's rated as a draw the battle, but obviously the British managed to <laughs> extract their troops, so that's a strategic victory, I would say. Let us see, John Moore, yeah, he died, he had 16,000 men, and oh, <laughs> that's so interesting, nine cannons. The others were lost on the retreat, obviously. Huh. No cavalry whatsoever, though. Let me switch to the English article to find out about... Whether there were Portuguese troops with the British. See there, the British lost six transport ships. And eight Spanish ships of the line. Three frigates. Abandoned. Two Spanish regiments captured, so there were Spanish here. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, maybe the... Obviously the... Um, the city garrison, probably. Mm-hmm. Okay, interesting. Take care, Clasper. Have a good one. I'm gonna play uh, my turn later on. article doesn't mention any Portuguese troops so assuming that these are that these are then the rifles maybe Let's go check um, the Nafziger collection of orders of battle. Uh, Spain, 1809. French Second Corps. That is what we got, but. We want to know about this, the British distribution of British troops in Portugal? No. Embarked for Portugal? No. Spanish garrison of Saragossa? No. 
French army, Spanish army of the center. <laughs> There's no order of battle for the British expeditionary force. Portuguese, uh, that's, that's September. Coimbra. Let me see, January, Spanish army of Cuenza, 11th, that's another one, of the center, that's another one, Battle of Occles, that's another one, French Corps, blah blah blah, Spanish army of the right, that's end of January. Oh, I'm a bit baffled why there isn't a order of battle for the British at La Coruña. Oh man, they were so. Even the French were so battered after this pursuit. That's. Wow, impressive. So many lost. I mean, that's, that's um, obviously the case with all the campaigns. That most of the men are not actually, in most cases, not lost by combat, but on the march. Fatigue, wounds, infections, disease. Starvation. No, there's... That's interesting. No order of battle of the British troops in the Nafziger collection. Why is that? I Someone needs to put that up. Someone needs to put that up. So, any questions about Kriegspiel or any ideas, inspirations, thoughts on the current situation we are in? We still don't know about what's going on on our left flank. Um, I'm thinking a little bit about where to send the cavalry. Can we actually break through here? I mean, if that would be an option. And it, uh, in this area, it looks like we can. We don't know what's positioned here in the town. Then the cavalry could sort of roll up this long line stretching here facing 2nd Division. Which would be awesome, but we have to assume that there are more forces in the rear. I think. Uh, 
Um, it takes a bit to resolve the turns. Are we short on umpires? I'm wondering. We got five players here and four players down there. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Six people in the umpire channel, which does not have. Not all of them have to be umpires actually. I don't know if Damon is or if he is just watching. Maybe he's just watching. Who knows? It's also always an option to just jump into the umpire channel on the Discord and get some impressions here. Aha! Aha! I see enemies. Enemies ahead! So let's see. We, we copy these. And there, of course, there are more. Would have been weird if not, right? I can see this. Then I can see marching columns. Oops. Okay, so things are going fairly well. Um, I won't just up Nick's screenshot, so that I'll just describe. So the looks like the British, with their backs to the river, have managed to drive back. Um, have managed to drive back Nick's, sorry, Nick's Jan's second brigade. They managed to break before they could impact. But the price of doing that was that his Jan's third and first brigade have completely shattered the other brigade across the river and are romping through them at the moment, pursuing the, the, some of the survivors across the river, but it looks like they'll take quite a few prisoners. Uh, some of Simeon's dragoons have shot the gap past the square and are now on the other side of the river chasing the artillery up the hill. The enemy seems to be in full retreat from this side of the river. However, um, they do have reserves approaching the river from the other side, including some green and red uniforms coming from the south and some red uniforms coming from the east towards the cavalry over there. And your cavalry, Simeon, can see what yeah. looks a senior commander to their east, which presumably means he's got reserves too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, any orders? Um, anyone except for Yarn, because Nick is taking your orders in a sec. Just keep going. Yeah. Anyone will send the cavalry in who will help the cav um, infantry retreat? Mm, yeah, the, to attack the in uh, retreating infantry? Yeah. That, that was also my fault. Because if they chase down the artillery, they will get attacked by the reserve, so go to uh, the bridge. I, oh. I meant um, all oh. infantry that is retreating oh. to help them. I don't think, the that's, the I don't think that's necessary. Uh, yeah. They are pressed from, from the infantry, don't, don't get the cavalry. To yeah. the ones back to the river or the ones that are already behind the river? Pull, uh, pull them the back, that, that doesn't make sense there. Just I don't know about this one, because there's a good Wait, chance... Which one do you mean? Do you mean the one that are already across? Or the yeah. one that are with us? Um, I thought the ones that are already across attack the ones that are retreating and already behind the river, and the other ones, the ones that are backed up to the river. Mm, yeah, because I meant um, the ones that are with us. Yeah. Yeah. Like, since I think you see the same thing as me in the screenshot, like our infantry is uh, breaking, yeah. so I want the cavalry to salvage the situation there. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, then I will send the uh, 
cavalry in the back helping out the infantry against the okay. British back up to the river and the two All across right. the river will stop chasing the artillery and attack the retreating ones. Okay, not a problem. Mm -hmm. No worries. No problem. Alright, thank you very much. Any yeah. uh, other orders from you, Sam? Or just get your guns lined up on the ridge so if your troops get out of the way, they can open up on the crossing? Yep, cancel. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Sam, do you have any news from from uh, third or second division? Sam, oh, I'm muted. Uh, Sam, do you have uh, any news from third uh, and second division? Um. From second, not but from third. Yeah, send me a message uh, that he has currently a view of what seems to be an enemy blockade to the south. Uh, yeah, and he's asking what the general plan is. But I have sent him a message before mm -hmm. the plan, so I think he has gotten it now. Mm -hmm. One nine one. Hi, Jan. Did Hello. you I suppose you get feedback from uh, Justin? Yes. Okay, and you give him orders or? Not yet. Not yet. No. Um, I want what's that? Third brigade to continue pushing along the creek. Roll up mm -hmm. the guys in front there. And then I want the. First brigade to reform. Uh, yeah, just reform into assault columns and get a bit of rest. Okay, and what about the second brigade? Who is uh, which is uh, breaking? Yeah, they need to breaking, pull out. Yeah. They need to pull out. And if it's uh, any good, I will move over and try to rally them up. Okay, you move to second brigade again. Yeah. Yep. We have sent. Uh, we will be sending to cavalry to help your infantry. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Right, I think given the terrain in front, I mean, if we have stabilized the situation, um, we should probably... I don't know how far 3rd Division has progressed already, but we probably need to threaten the enemy flanks now before we can make any progress here across the creek. Uh, he's very far. He's at 191. Uh, to the north. One nine one. Ah, that's Dave, right? One nine one. Okay. And the division uh, in the north. 
Third Division? Uh, oh, I meant um, Third Division. Z2191. Uh, Where is it? Ah, there I see. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Uh, Dev should be somewhere east, I think. Yep. Uh, but I think I will take the artillery and go to the north. Soon. Uh, those, yeah, it would um, be good to, to put some pressure on the fleet. Um, yeah, don't know if it's... Yeah, because third division is making some good progress. Yeah. Uh, if he gets at like uh, 185 or 196, I think, mm -hmm. uh, then probably we can put the artillery there. Yeah. Should okay. get uh, ships. Good. Okay, so... Hmm. I mean, I'm not so sure. We certainly need the artillery over here to put pressure on the fleet. But can we do anything about this position without artillery? I need to take another look on the screenshot. Seems they are concentrating troops at this point. So we should be able to roll up what's on our side of the creek. But afterwards, going upslope, rather steep here, against the concentrated position is probably not what we want to do. Hmm. What do you think about that? Okay, let's see. And the music is gone, what's... what's up? Uh, should be fixed, alright.
<laughs> let's see how this goes. Look how we cross here, that's, that's really an issue. Let's grab them pieces. Oh, the supply train stated at once. To here, I think. Not so sure. And how did he get up to hill 191? Which road did he take this one? What about this main alley here? Hmm. Anyways, he's somewhere in this area with the third division. How much more the enemy got there? And where, why, and where are they pulling their reserves from? I mean, <laughs> are they supposed to embark and extract their army here? However, players get easily drawn into fighting something out. Sit in army, come on with it. Oh yes, I think we got the army commander about here. So these are a little bit further there. 
and there should be a red army command. Uh, um, what did I say? Moore is his name, right? Sir. Interesting that he's here, but yeah, makes sense. Sort of the center of its uh, his position. Hmm. Still wondering why. Why? I mean, this is perfect ground for a defensive line, but if they got their line here, somewhat in the in the air, not uh, anchored on the on the shore. That might be a bit uh, dangerous, right? If Dave breaks through here. I mean, 3rd um, Division will have a hard time crossing into the town from the west, but an attack from the east should easily be possible. Assuming there are no, I don't know, batteries positioned there. Just waiting for another update there.
And there is another report incoming. This is my token, yes. <clears throat> Alright, so we are rallying the man back here. Go. Rally actions. Uh, the cavalry went in. And they have, it appears, smashed these two. They are shattered now as well. Where are the batteries? They are right behind me. Okay. Batteries are. Uh, so that's now it's getting a bit confused. So I guess these moved out, and I hope these moved out. I can't really see them right now. Now we got their commander. I uh, don't know where he is exactly. These guys pulled back. And they have formed line, I think. Okay. Let's have these unlimbered. Not sure why, because I thought he wanted to pull them out, but maybe that's going to happen next turn. Uh, where is Monsieur Sweet? Oh, it seems we have destroyed three battalions and captured a, a brigade commander. Appreciate it. And. So these guys are sort of on them, and third is on them, and then we got some disrupted cavalry in the rear. Okay. Prisoners, okay. Three battalion are uh, prisoners. And a brigade commander, but anyways. Hello. Hi, Ian. Hi. So, your third brigade has shattered the the few remaining units mm -hmm. uh, before they could cross the, the stream. Okay. And uh, now you can uh, you you are with your um, second brigade, and you manage to stop the, the route. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, now they are trying to to reorganize themselves. Yeah. So, what are your orders? What are my orders? Um, I will go join first brigade again. Okay. And I think a third brigade can now pull out and. Reorganize. Question is which direction? Oop. Maybe in front of the second brigade. Okay. And that's it for now, I think. We need to think about the position the enemy has there. Okay, thank you. Thank you.
All right, so we are reforming here. Second brigade is rallying up. We will bring the third brigade out of here. Uh, first is actually a little bit further behind, like so maybe. And this is all a bit more chaotic, but the enemy has taken the high ground. There are single green units. Uh, I think these are the rifles then. Interesting. So, let's see. Let's get them back to line. And put them down where we think they are. We got at least two here. We got a green battalion. Battalion, where are you? Green battalion is there. I think rifles here. Yeah, sort of across. Now we got two battalions, line infantry. Don't know about this one. Now we got three battalions. And these might be. Uh, might be, let me see, 24, they are down here actually, okay, got those here into line. Those probably here. They will probably push back, have pushed back these two dragoons, which were pursuing the guns. And then I assume these might have been brought up. And now we are facing a stable front line here, although we will have captured five battalions. So that's about a brigade. A brigade plus. I assume so, yeah, I have, 
don't know which which else what else these units could be so as we as we did uh, find out there were some spanish forces here but i assume these were just two regiments of uh, garrison forces in la coruña so the green should then probably be rifle battalions of the 95th and they had another rifle corps hadn't they Uh, the 96th Rifle Regiment, and then they had the Rifle Corps. I'm not so... Uh, <laughs> uh, don't know so much about the British Army organization, actually. Were the 96th part of the Rifle Corps? Maybe so. I think they had a second Rifle Regiment, had they? Let's see. British rifle regiments. Rifle brigade, the Britain consorts own. So the rifle corps. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. Three companies. Three companies made the rifle core. Interesting. Experimental core of riflemen. That was 1800 and then in 1802 they formed the rifle core. Which was brought into line as the 95th Regiment of Foot. And then they have the 96 as well. Second battalion. All right, they were actually the rifles were actually in uh, South America as well. <laughs> Kick their bottoms. Yeah, we we try. But now they uh, have some superior ground there. They fought in Uruguay. 2nd uh, Battalion, 95th Rifles. And they went to the Baltic, right? They were involved in the invasion uh, expedition to Denmark. Interesting episode, by the way. And then back in the Peninsula War, 2nd Battalion, 95th was sent in. La 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 la. Did they only have the 95th? I thought they had the 2nd Regiment. Oh, maybe not.
<sighs> we really need to get the second and third division into action now. Wait, second is probably already. They are on the flanks. Yes, third division is by now on the hills. Assumedly here.
Same area again. Oh, uh, no. So you're able to reorganize your second brigade, and it looks like the cavalry is drawing back and regrouping, and the infantry is regrouping. Um, the allies seem, I mean, the British and their maybe auxiliaries seem to be doing well enough. They're forming up on the other side of the river, but they don't dare come across to engage you after the thrashing you dealt to their division. Um, you can see that they are currently being held prisoner by your skirmishers. Um, you're taking... You're taking some fire from across the river over the enemy line. The artillery was firing there and had managed to deal a fairly heavy blow to some of your infantry that we were trying to rally. But other than that, you're not seriously worried about their throw weight. Your artillery is... Your artillery is basically clear. There, there's between the infantry mo carry moving back and the artillery moving across. It can unlimber and start returning the favour. Yeah, so yeah, the artillery is to shoot at the artillery. Okay. Um, Any, um, anything else? Uh, the cavalry will hopefully start recovering now. It's got the head. That's actually away from the combat. Mm -hmm. uh, I wanted to say, um, second division. Uh, so Dave has sent me. A message and he has said that he has um, encountered our cavalry and will be moving through the forest. So, if there are no enemies, um, probably he will be behind the rear. So, that's good. Mm -hmm. So, what's going on? Um, you're moving Simeon through the forest, you said? Or you're talking about second? No, oh, I was about second. No. Okay, never mind. Yeah. Uh, to inform them. Yeah. Do you want uh, half river forest? Uh, the long way around, or which forest? Uh, the one. I think it means the one in the middle, or the one at. Um, uh, Goy Kono, uh, Kono, Yani. Uh, so it's a T17, uh, yeah, uh, 173. Mm -hmm. Yep. Justin, do you want my orders as well? Yeah, sure, I'm here as well. Um, yep. then just, uh, deploy a skirmish screen in front for now. Okay, not a problem. Thank you. That won't help you from artillery, but it'll make it a nightmare for anyone else to force their way up to you. Nope. Okay, thank you. Um, I think I will move up to 3rd Division. Not a problem. In the north. Uh, so, uh, keep the pressure up. Um, don't let them escape. Uh, because since, like, if you, if you feel like they are going to escape, attack them. But yeah, I will go to 3rd Division to know what is happening there. Roger that. And some guards to guard the division that we captured. Okay. So I've got the cavalry regrouping for now. Uh, they're getting the artillery involved to start pounding the enemy, leaving some guards on the on the to guard the prisoners. <laughs> okay, no problem. Yeah, if Dave can actually make this flanking attack there. 
which would really surprise me because I thought the British wanted to <laughs> embark their ships and extract their forces here, but it appears that now they are trying to phase us. Hmm. Yeah. Hi, Yana. Hello. Uh, so I I, yeah. A report from uh, Justin. Yeah, and I already gave my orders. Um, we stay in position and deploy a skirmish screen. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So could be that they have embarked some cavalry already since uh, it takes the most of time to embark them on ships. Yeah, I don't know if they actually have uh, any cavalry. So historically the British, I think, didn't have any. But, um, yeah, might be. Did our briefing say anything about cavalry? Um... Not really. Yeah, I don't know about cavalry. I think the British didn't even have any at La Coruña. It was said at the beginning that almost all the cavalry got destroyed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I really don't see what the British are trying here. Like, I would have thought yeah. that they leave just like one division or something. Yeah. We're trying to defend, a, but even with artillery, they can't win this. Yeah, since we are converging from our sides. It's, uh, what, what I find interesting is that they even brought up reserves from somewhere to bolster this line. Yeah. Instead of falling um, back. Already the southern line is very thin, so... Mm -hmm. If if they just stay there, they get slaughtered by uh, artillery. And if they retreat, well, we can just follow up. No. Nope. Yeah. Hopefully they will arrive in time before they yep. decide otherwise. Yep. Mhm. Mm yeah. Um, since I'm leaving, uh, I think I will give command to Rion while I'm away here. Yeah. You're right. Um, but how do you feel about um, attacking like, the river with the cavalry? Brilliant infantry. Um, I would probably not do that right now. Uh, Patient. Shoot them down. Yeah, use the artillery for now. I can't push across, and if they start to retreat, then we can go in. The terrain is just not feasible to go down and into the creek and then up the slope yeah. into their guns. So we just keep them busy here, maybe with some probing skirmisher attacks. And then now the initiative is on 2nd uh, and 3rd Division to try to cut them off. Oh, um, I really think the southern flank. That there is no one anymore because since the 
third cavalry mentioned some green uniforms and here we see some green units yeah i yeah i don't know if the complete uh, 95th rifle uh, regiment was deployed here or not no idea how many battalions they would have I will probably get my second brigade once it is uh, rallied up to probe their left flank a little bit. So hook on our right and maybe point some of their troops there so to make it even more easy for easier for Dave to get in. Uh, did we capture any commander? Or I think a brigade commander. Yeah. Mm, maybe you can interrogate him. Huh. To, yeah, to know what happened. Yeah, and we can try that. Yeah, that would be good. Mm, maybe if we can, uh, we can know to show, um, when the ships will arrive. All right, all right. Now we certainly have more artillery here. Once they are unlimbered. We should be able to, from this hill position here, play heavily on the British artillery and infantry. And that should help Dave if actually this line he is facing is thin or retired to push through. That would be good. Maybe the reports they got from us overrunning their brigade scared them to pull in more reinforcements. I mean, this is in total probably more than a division. I wouldn't say two divisions, but anyways. All right, I just quickly step away. The music stopped again. I don't know why, but uh, I'll... Oh, I, <laughs> I muted it, right? Because Sam was talking so... calmly. 
Uh, sorry, um, put this on play again. And I'll be back in a second. Here we go again. Oops, not the line. Want to talk with this guy? He's an NPC, but anyways. Maybe he knows something about the overall British deployments. And for example, how many rifle battalions they got. They certainly had this one here at the anchor point of the line. So probably this was like this previously. And now they turned around to face us. Uh, and they have one more down here somewhere where Dave is operating. Who knows? Oh, we could uh, grab a ship model. Where do I have those? Plexis. You got them ships, didn't you? Ah, uh, they are scripted. We cannot pull them from there. Mm -hmm. I'll give you the screenshot as well, since for it. Uh, there we are. I think we'll do it probably. Okay. Um. So, looks like the units are forming up. The skirmishers are forming a picket uh, line out towards the enemy. 
your artillery is speaking from the hill and has already seems to have done heavy damage to one of the enemy in line. Um, they have also seem to have, although not as much as it looks like the enemy's own battery has hit their other unit in the rear with their bombardment. And so, yeah, there's substantial damage being done to the enemy there with artillery from both sides. Great. Um, yeah, send all troops in because they are trying to flee. Okay. So like the cavalry yeah. first or infantry first? Uh, uh, like the cavalry, the cavalry has to be grouped. Uh, so the cavalry is all in good order. Uh, like, do the same uh, last time, force them to form squares and then send the infantry in. in okay. So it could help. So then I'll... Cavalry first. Okay. okay. So to cross, to try and charge across that bridge and force them into squares? Yep. Okay. And if they go into squares, uh, I will go south. Okay, not a problem. Uh, one question. If they form up in squares, can the cavalry move around them uh, to yep. the gaps? And... Yep, they, they risk taking fire from them as they pass, but they can move around them. They can move around them or shoot the gap, like how um, Simeon got across there the first time, though when there was a square there, but it, all it did was some disruption, and he got through and drove off the artillery. Okay, so, uh, Simeon, if you would like that if they form squares, uh, that you move through the gaps. Yeah, and, if it, uh, that was my idea with going south, you know, south around them. Uh, or just, or, or could I just go through them? Yeah, um, the square. through the city, to Corunia. I was thinking about that since we are not far away. And going south, you would just encounter Dave, I think. Might be a bit crowdy to go through there. I don't know. And remember, it's upslope. Yeah, well, we have no choice. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I hope we get the uh, same results as last time. Yep. Yeah. Alright, uh, hmm? Yeah. Anything else, um, Simeon? And then I'll get out of the way and let it come get the answer orders. Yeah. I will four squares, and if I square up... Okay. I will, I will go through them. Alright, no problem. Um, oh, okay, he's gone. Were you saying something else, Sam? Uh, I was asking if I can move to your division. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, you were on your way up there, weren't you? Sorry, did I? Yeah, uh, well, it's fine. I'll put you with them, because you wanted to go there last turn. You'll see you arrive there in the new turn. Okay. Okay. So, I suppose, Jan, you already provide your orders to Justin? No, I did not. Ooh. Okay. Uh, we will form assault columns again with all brigades and as the cavalry is trying to force the enemy into square again we will assault the enemy positions um, bring in the second brigade behind third and if uh, third sort of is disrupted by combat or whatever then second can take their position okay and uh, I will move to the prisoners and try mm -hmm. to uh, get some intel from the captured brigade commander about the enemy order of battle okay 
Anything else? That's all. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody in the sort columns again. Only the breaking one can't. I'll go back. And then we go in. Again. As these folks are all pulling out. They have deployed three battalions here. Uh, this one is breaking. This one's disrupted. This one is out, I think. We can't really see what's going on there, but the artillery has played heavily on them, so that's good. And then we see two battalions and probably... Lions Brigade. Uh, probably these guys are out as well. These folks are marching away. They are pulling out. Maybe they have realized that there is uh, an attack coming in and that this position becomes unfeasible to hold. So now we want to press them. Artillery bombardment, cavalry support, forcing them into squares, potentially trying to break through, which I think is a bit <laughs> too much there. And we are going in to break the squares. And uh, next turn I need to hurry up to join 1st Brigade again. Or 3rd maybe, who knows. Uh, the artillery will remain in position, I think. I have to think about that next turn. Depends on how far we push the enemy. If we get somewhere around here, then I'll send them up to Sam and 3rd Division. We'll probably take some time to cross the creeks though. Ah, we see, we see. So Peter, how are you? If you're still here with us, watching, how you doing? And another Peter appears. Now we have two in the chat. <laughs> hello, hello. How many more Peters can we get today? Assemble all the Peters. Um, so these are in column, obviously. A 
running away. Away they go, lads. Away they go. So, how are all the Peters doing? Any questions, Peter? Oh, no, I'm always saying Peter. So we got one Peter and a Peter. <laughs> uh, to give you an overview of the situation, what we're doing today, this is uh, inspired by the Battle of La Coruña in 1809, Spain. Um, the British, so the Spanish war, Spanish-French war erupted the year before and the French marshals didn't fare too well. Thus Napoleon then <laughs> decided to take the, his best troops and move into Spain, beat up the Spanish army, beat up the British army and now Marshal Soult with the second corps is pursuing the British expeditionary force. They have remaining about 15,000 men here and are trying to extract via fleet, so embark onto their ships and get out at La Coruña, which is in the northwestern tip of Spain. Um, it is what, January? Early January, so cold weather, harsh weather conditions, lots of cold rain. Both armies are suffering under these conditions, suffering under disease. Um, and now the British are trying to stop the French advance, which historically they did. Um, and try to get their troops out. And we have decided here is the French team. You can only see the my division, which are these infantry brigades here, three brigades, uh, plus our reserve cavalry divisions over here, and the reserve artillery batteries from Corps Command. Um, we have overrun parts of a defensive, the first defensive line of the British. Captured about four to five battalions, I think, and the British pulled back behind this creek onto this sort of ridge line beyond or uh, on top of the creek valley. There, uh, we have brought our artillery up to good effects here and are now preparing another assault. The cavalry will press the enemy, force them into squares, so we will have some combined arms going on. We have the artillery disrupting the enemy. We have the cavalry going in and forcing them into squares. And then my division three brigades will go in in assault columns and try to break the enemy, uh, who has now decided to pull back. The line extended to here, they are now pulling back. We assume this uh, coincidence with an attack of uh, our second division, deuxième division. And uh, the third division should have by now arrived up here. Troisième division. And co commander Marichal Soult is now moving up to meet them. And once we have uh, broken through in this position, we will probably redirect the guns over to our left flank to then be able to threaten the. Spanish British fleet over here. Maybe we can sink some uh, transports. We will see, we will see. We got some disruption here in this situation. We were wondering why the British were even reinforcing this line. So they it seems they were pulling troops away from 
from their very long line they had deployed in this direction. Not sure if that were only these forces in this area and the others are still fighting against Dave's second division here. Or uh, if they did so before they encountered Dave. Maybe so. We will see. So historically this is uh, counted as a draw. Um, both sides lost about a thousand men I think. But the British got most of their troops out. So strategic victory for the British historically. On January 16th. 1809, I think. And the British commander even died here in this battle. Roger Moore. Anyways, we are waiting for reports on our attack. <clears throat> will also be interesting how far the umpires will run this when will they call it i assume that depends on the progress of deuxième et troisième division falcon raider welcome thank you for the follow Welcome to some Kriegspiel. And this text can be removed. Of course, it was wrong from the beginning. This was. Uh, only a single light brigade there of cavalry scouting the enemy flank. <laughs> I mean, if they. Uh, Right now, with the artillery support, I'm relatively positive about the attack. We'll see, we'll see, because the terrain obviously is not so <laughs> well suited for cavalry. Even if they are probing, I need to move through the creek here several times to evade or not. And they even want to try to push through when the battalions of the enemy form a square. They want to go through the squares or between the squares and reach the enemy rear positions. I'm not so uh, <laughs> convinced that this is a good idea actually, but anyways, I hope the infantry pulls it out. And if we have this position and we can unite with, concentrate with uh, second division, we should be in a rather good position here 
to press them. Although, yeah, city fighting is not what you really want to do, but anyways. Another division even, yeah, I mean this was, I don't know, a brigade. Strong brigade of five battalions. I think we have five of them. That would be good, yeah, would be good. This time we have a strong right wing. So, even if the third brigade is disrupted from combat, we can push onwards with second. That should potentially work out in our favor. I mean, as I said, I'm a little bit concerned about the terrain impact on the cavalry here. But the harbor should be somewhere here, actually. So, I mean, uh, as I said previously, this map is, isn't actually a coastline map. Um, beneath the blue is his countryside. <laughs> this is actually only a, a river. But... Uh, yeah, the terrain sort of suits the La Coruña situation. Although they, I think they had uh, sort of a fortress in this in this area here. Like if he here's the harbor, then I think they had like a fortress there historically. But anyways, no, not the blue. Oh, did the troops get moved by that? Anybody fell through? Yes, the skirmishers fell through the map. No problem, got them back. Yep, 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 but the combine arm situation, that is, I like that. If only the terrain would be a bit better. <clears throat> Yeah, maybe we're gonna we're gonna ask them. Um, I don't know. I was even surprised to see them defend uh, up here in this this previous line, and then reinforce this line. I mean, they had they had troops there, but they brought even more. So <laughs> yeah. Don't you know the, the famous Spanish town Pechino? <laughs> it's right uh, right next to Gulconopiani. That's where it is. I think that's Russia, right? Been moved. Game is over. We probably see the result of this assault in a minute. Good day. Ah, pulled in. <laughs> hello, hello. Good day. Hello. 
flow. Now, my only apology is to um, uh, Third Division, who have been marching for a long time but haven't really had much of a taste of battle. But there's quite a lot, been quite a lot happening. Um, Wait, the game ended. Yes. We're gonna... Oh uh, my God. Uh, what is the password? I didn't shoot a single bullet this entire <laughs> game. This is marching simulator, not Kriegspiel. Sometimes that is what it is. Uh, it is the password is umpire. If you want to see the server and you're on GTS, it is um, called open Saturday. The password is umpire in small letters. Always I'll just stream. So, um. Yeah, there was a direct con conflict over here in the west, uh, west of the creek. So at the starting, let me just save the end state here. Um, and it is, what is the timestamp at the moment? It is, oh, uh, 13.30, cool. What was the server name called? Open Saturday. <laughs> Okay, so there was a, a battle over here in the west, um, and through a combination of, well, some some luck, but also good use of combined arms, uh, the French were able to reduce the British defence, and then by forcing them into square, and then also hitting with assault columns in good in a well coordinated attack, uh, the British were able to retaliate by they, they British lost control of the crossing, unfortunately which meant that their battered division was, their third division was essentially captured or wiped out completely. So we see some of their captives over here being interrogated by the French division commander about the order of battle. Um, on this side of the river, a more bold choice, the British did manage to set up a, a very lethal gun line on this bank of the river and practically dared the French to cross. And the French promptly did. In the turn, the British started pulling back to Karuna, and so their cavalry came swarming across the river, ran down this these two batteries, and in heroic combat, the basically the lead element of the dragoons and the gun crews shattered each other in close combat, and so this this unit the lead block was destroyed and basically shattered to run away, and the gun crews were routed and fled, fled leaving the guns behind. So at this point, look at the situation. We have the British here in the centre falling back. Now here in the south, the column, where are we? Mermet's column has been marching down this road up to here, where they regrouped at the crossroads and then started forcing back British skirmishers through these woods. The skirmishers initially sent a report back to their... They've been attached to the reserve division, so they sent a report to their commander. Unfortunately, their commander had drowned the previous turn trying to swim the river rather than be captured. Um, so we had the third division no. commander survived but didn't relieve a division, and the reserve division commander drowned, leaving his entirely intact division leaderless. At which point the third division... So the reserve division commander was reincarnated a bit later as Sir David, as uh, Sir Baird, who of the first division with the guard and some of the other very crack British formations. Um, but we've had two detachments of the 90th rifles in the field. Yes, they, the attack coming from the south, the French got the uh, third cavalry on board and so they were supporting each other and there was a brief cavalry confrontation where both sides were spent in the fighting except there was one regiment of the French cavalry left roaming up, in red uniforms, no less, roaming up in the east towards the town because they were Hanoverian. Um, but they, the French were able to keep pushing through the woods despite taking losing heavy losses to the enemy skirmishers because the British skirmishers consistently had the upper hand but just got overwhelmed by numbers and the former troops behind there. Over here in the east, the uh, French army drove up and was able to keep pushing through and although there hadn't been heavy casualties in either direction they were able to also drive back the flanking the flank brigade that was trying to deny them in the north things were 
harder to see. The um, the attack up here in the top, the Thought came up to check on his third version. Third version had been doing a flank march through the muddy road, over this creek, along here, and down to here, to, with finally staging to attack. Uh, the division here defending was um, had taken a little while. They had basically fallen back, had played for time, and done a good job at avoiding a decisive engagement. Which, seeing what happened to some of their other si the other sides of the battle, may have been the right choice. Um, but they were still in good order and were able to buy time on this bank of the river. And they were aware that the boats were there, so they were prepared to a stage defence. Overall, I think it was played very well on both sides. I think there was a bit of unfortunate miscoordination around the 3rd Division, the 3rd British Division here, which let the substantial cavalry reserves and the infantry work together to fix them and then reduce them before any reinforcements could come up. But um, that was partly just bad luck and partly good play on behalf of the French. I think this gun line here was excellent. Uh, and when the order was given, I came back and was saying sort of wide-eyed, like, okay, that was very effective before, but if they're going to start pouring two divisions of cavalry across a bridge into the teeth of five regiments of disciplined British troops in line, this is going to get very ugly. And then um, the order came back. British are retreating. Oh. Yeah. Well, they've, they, they have a real knack for timing. <laughs> um, and that turned out to be the perfect time to do it. Because it's got cavalry into the rear of the British trying to retreat. When, yeah, maybe you just had a really good feel for the tempo of the battle and when they were going to pull back. So, I I mean, I would have liked to keep playing it. But both because we were about to lose one of our umpires and because it would have been a messy fight through the town back to the boats at this point i'm going to call it a moderate french victory i think the the british have lost most of the people they're going to lose that was devastating losing the third division that said they won't get all everything onto the boats there's going to be a stage defeat a stage withdrawal onto the boats under constant attack and possibly losing some of their supplies here to the to the french cavalry because there's not really anything between the French cavalry and the supplies. Um, so yeah, the British aren't going to lose many more units and they will escape with most of their army, but the French will have their victory and that was what they were attempting to achieve. So well done to all players. I would like to hear from... Um, where are we? Felix, can you please let me know your thoughts? Uh, yeah, I don't think I have very much. Yeah, it was unfortunate that Dookie had uh, some problem with his connection or something. He wasn't there for one turn, and that was exactly when the enemy showed up. So he basically came back to his division being smashed already against the river. So it was basically too late to retreat at that point. Um, I think the skirmishers uh, in the forest in the south... Um, they weren't really decisive in the end, but they did a good job there, and I think that was a, a good play. Um, and other than that, I, I don't think I have any further remarks. Excellent. Uh, Nick, and thank you for coming, Nick. It was very good having you aboard. Yeah, yeah it's nothing. Uh, well, uh, the same, I don't have much to add to what you, you said. Unfortunately for Shiro, well... He, he was not able to to attend a, a fight. Uh, and in the south, uh, Dave, uh, well, walked also for a long time, but when he, he reached uh, the enemy, uh, he was very aggressive to try to push them uh, away. So, yeah, good play. Okay. That's the... all. Thank you. Uh... Commanders, uh, so I'd like to hear Sam. Um, well, yeah, so the idea about the uh, combined attack with the cavalry and infantry was Jan's idea, so credits to him. Um, yeah, our plan was rather basic, I think, like we 
try to converge on the city from all sides, from the north and south. But once we had um, tried, uh, captured that one division, we were at the river and it was like a face off and we just shot that with um, uh, cannons and 10 uh, to British uh, are like right now they are retreating and then we decided to attack once again not to uh, let them flee Excellent um, and Jin the side command of the British Yeah there was um a couple of crucial mistakes. Uh, the first mistake was that I think pretty much our whole team missed the crucial line that said uh, we wouldn't be able to cross the rivers unless we were using bridges. So um, we anticipated that the third division would be able to move, uh, wouldn't have to take that bridge at 130 to get into the town. Um, so when they started getting attacked, oh, I missed that as uh, well. we, I mean, when I went up to them, I thought they would be okay uh, because I could only see two divisions, uh, enemy divisions there. Um, I saw a decent amount of artillery and I knew there was cavalry to the south. So I underestimated how many forces the enemy had to there. Like when the cavalry came, I was like, oh, that that's, that's, like when I I went up north and then I came back down and I was like oh the third division is gone, um, uh because it, like I saw the cavalry all over them I saw they were in squares, um and I saw that they couldn't cross over the river that we thought would be their line of retreat, <laughs> so they had to move completely out of where we thought they would be, and the other big issue was I ordered the first division to move west in the first turn, um and that never happened. Uh, and then I, uh, so then cavalry showed up to the south, so I order, ordered them to hold the center uh, of the town, and those two turns greatly delayed them in being able to assist the third division in their retreat. Um, so, yeah, there was a lot of fog of war on the British side that uh, I think ultimately screwed us over. Oh, and also... I just apparently don't understand how artillery works, so uh, I thought they would be able to shoot from where they were, and apparently that wasn't the case. So, um, I mean, they did at one point. They shot for, for, shot devastatingly. It was like all the odds were against them, but not, they shot they, straight over all, everyone's backs and plowed into the French on the other side. It was just the oh. following round that they, they then had friendly fire. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, they tried. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think when we heard there was a column to the south, I think it got us... At this point, I was like frustrated and a little frank, frantic, um, and there was a lot of command, a chain of command issues because of switching players around. So I think, um, in hindsight, I don't think I would have ordered the 1st Division to pull back. I, it wasn't my original intention to, um, but uh, I, I think there was a lot of... Um, I think psychologically the british were ready to start pulling back so uh that's kind of what happened um my initial intention was to hold them there so it would have been cool if they had fucking massacred that cavalry um but uh, <laughs> you know it's how it goes sometimes yep well, the cavalry went only in the because we saw you were treating yeah yeah we pulled them back and we actually expected you to stay there. We were a bit unsure why you reinforced to the river. Uh, our plan was just to stay back and shoot you down with our artillery. But when we saw you retreating, I sent in all my cavalry. That's why we started retreating is because we didn't want to get blasted by the artillery. Um, yeah. But the reason we pulled our troops up there was because I knew you had at least two divisions of infantry there. And if you made that crossing, um, we would have been done. We would have been doomed. You would have taken our center. Uh, if we didn't yeah. stop you from taking that bridge, uh, it would have been over. Um, we would have had the, the, the 
reserve division to the south would have been completely out of position. The division to the north yeah. was much farther north, so it would it would have been disastrous if you guys had taken that bridge yeah. uh, two turns earlier than you did. All right, then. Any other comments? Anyone else who would like to add, add some points? Can we... Okay, I'm not willing to admit defeat, because I didn't shoot a single bullet. I was in the north British side. Can we your do... Army was, your army was completely intact, yes? At the <laughs> yeah, end. so I'm the winner. Can we do a part two? Uh, Honestly. I've saved the state. I've saved the state. We could continue from a future point. Yeah, just like a, a little bit reformed. Like a proper, I mean, you have to, like, the British have to hold until, like, a specific time, but the French, with their superior numbers, and artillery, and cavalry, and everything, can have to beat them before they retreat. Yeah, I mean, it's 130 at this point, so I guess we moved 145, so you would have one, two, three, four and a half more hours, but yes, yeah. in theory. I, I really I want to do a part two. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm okay with not doing a part two, personally. <laughs> I think your assessment of the victory is, is accurate. It was a walking simulator for me, so yes, I want the part two. <laughs> I was waiting for you this entire time! Just to get to me. You kept on retreating over and over and over. There was so much I could... We did it once! Oh, sometimes... Santa failed. <laughs> sometimes... Sometimes, though, you don't necessarily need a part two. You, no, you can... I don't. Yeah. Yeah. And now we've yeah. seen everything, so yeah. Well, you, yeah. exactly, and 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 you you can kind of you know think about stuff that you know could have happened and and maybe, maybe entertain yourself. Like, that one. like I, I do have the starting save, so perhaps uh, either uh, either we or someone else can run the start, and I can either help run it or play it. I'd, I'd love to play by the French. I love playing the attacker. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll say this about, you know, whether there should be a part two or not. Just saying sometimes battles look like a route in one direction and then it turns into a route the other. So, you know, <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I don't feel like we're routing. I just think it's going to be like you described. It's going to be a slug in the town and a lot more British people are going to die. And the, the French might get a black guy, but we didn't do enough damage to the French to not push them back. I just, it's a, I just, you know, I'm not going to say, like, yeah, you guys should do a part two. I'm just saying it's, you know, it, it would be interesting. Like, most of the Kriegspiels, I feel like, we do always tend to be, like, you know, move into contact, and then once it looks like it's pushing one way, then we call it. But, you know, sometimes, like, a Dunkirk-type situation would be interesting to do also, you know? Like, it isn't necessary for both sides to have an equal chance to win. Maybe it's just one side is trying to not lose as bad as they could, you know. Nope. Yeah, and I, I would, I'd have a. I mean, I've survived a Antietam scenario, but um, <laughs> I, I, I would have. Um, I'd enjoyed playing one of those. In fact, I'd enjoy playing in any of the scenarios I've been running lately. Um, so, if anyone wants to take one of those and subject players, including myself, to them, I'd really enjoy taking a hand. Um, actually, one question, um, so, I'm not really sure how you would see that most of the British troops would, uh, could still escape, since we are very close to them, and, uh, like, they can't fight and at the same time go on the ships, so they would have to... Well, that's the thing, like, it's gonna, be a, it's gonna be a stage withdrawal, they're, they're not, not everyone is gonna escape. Then they're not going to lose any more divisions, but you're going to be, you're not on top of them. You're close to them here in the south, um, but they still order defense. You're close-ish in the north, but they still order defense. Here you've got the cavalry, but they've, I mean, they're on the other side of the bank. They've, you've carried the crossing, but you'll be disordered getting across that river. Now, they can't get back to stop you. They can't stop you from getting back over there, but what they can do is... Um, you're not going to be able to stop getting into the town. And once they're in there, it will be a... They'll get some things on the boats. They, their goal, their desired goal was to... Um, if they could hold till nightfall, then they could pull out it during the darkness. And that's not going to happen. Because they're going to have to withdraw in daylight, which would be tricky. And 
you were able to press them and basically when they withdraw a critical mass out, then you can dogpile and overrun what's left unless you unless they gun down their own units with naval gunnery trying to stop you. I'm very familiar with uh what's the what's like the max elevation that a ship in the line could shoot because those bluffs look pretty high off the well according water. to uh, our resident Poseidon they couldn't quite hit up here but they could hit up to about here or here but they could also hit to up to about like here because this is the fl flatter side over here so anywhere around there or up to about here on the side on the up on the up as well uh Thanks for running the game, guys. I'm going to head out. It was a good time. Yeah. No problems. Bye-bye. Right. Take care. Bye-bye. So, the British in the end did retreat. Yeah, the British did retreat, but... It's a British victory! But the British got a... <laughs> British got a... No, no, no. It's a you don't have to say anything else. It's a British victory. <laughs> Mission well, accomplished. Don't let's you see... Don't you see, don't you see the Swiss when, cutting you off here? When they get home... No, 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 no! It's not that! A mile to the north. Both you know, sides, you know, both I'm sides I'm escaping. will definitely claim a victory. Both sides will definitely claim a victory when they get home, yes. The British will say, <laughs> we got out we got out with an army in that <laughs> French ago. On my side, the I'm the only one that can claim victory. Because <laughs> I'm so close to the boats already. I can just escape. We captured a complete brigade, so I think we are already on top of the historical outcome here. Yeah, definitely. Better than the historical yeah. Um, historically, well, just... the British took losses, but drove you drove you off. So yeah, yeah that but that was never close. They they had better terrain, like since they were not attacked from all sides, just from one side. So yeah, that's true. I think it was more difficult. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, yes and no. Yes, but uh, you could also use your internal lines. Um, Theo was made a point about how he wasn't actually engaged in the north, but that's true. He could have potentially, you could have left the flank brigade up in the north and tried to play for time there while bringing multiple divisions down to fight here. It's also the, the weather effect was not necessarily part of the scenario. It was just the weather we happened to roll for at this time. So if it had been drier and you could have easily crossed the creeks, it might mm -hmm. have been very different. That is cool. Fight up in the north. My flank on the left was completely open after the Third army got completely annihilated. I had to retreat. Yeah. And historically, they did retreat at night. Yes, historically, they, they held until nightfall and then they withdrew in, in the darkness. British victory. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it is. <laughs> Yeah, at least you don't get all your troops out because I think like the regard units will no, die. No, no, no. Here's the thing: all the all the British in the town, they're dead. My teammates, they're gone. But my <laughs> troops up to the north, they all escaped. That's the thing. So it's a victory for me. <laughs> uh, but did uh, did the British have like a shoulder when the ships will arrive or? Did the British have what? Sorry. Um, like. Did they get a time when the ships would arrive, or were the ships already there? Uh, so when the British first got here, on the 11th, the ships weren't there at all. Um, and then the cavalry showed up, and then more, more of infantry, then the infantry started to show up. And then the ships finally showed up on the, I think the 15th? Um, I put it in the briefing, because it was just interesting how it went. There was like only a handful of ships here, but um, the... Yes, okay, the morning, morning of the 15th, the ships showed up, and they pulled the wounded and a lot of supplies aboard, and then they, basically the French had to attack on the 16th, or else the British were just going to go. And so, the British had lost a lot of their horses in the, in the long retreat, so that's why they were so low on cavalry, because the, basically their best cavalry was on the only horses they had left. But it also meant that the British had had a few days to feed their starving, straggling army, whereas the French were basically going into the fight as soon as they arrived. The cavalry had been there early, but the cavalry couldn't break into the town, so it was the infantry that was coming up and then getting committed to fight. Yeah. 
Mm. Yeah, technically, the British could have also just hold the line at the creek mm -hmm. here and mm, yeah, like here, so that we don't get artillery to shoot at the ships and somewhere around yeah. here, like the forest. They do that. They do that artillery in. They do have artillery in through, they don't have the same weight of artillery, so they w could get forced back, but that would also buy them time. One of the things that the um, French were exploring was whether they could get their guns onto some high ground and force the transports off, and probably from here, for example, if they could get their batteries here, they could force the transports off. Could this also have been a good position where the British are right now? Um, potentially. Yeah, long range fire, yes, they could make the... Yeah, from there they could make the French very unhappy. Cause, sorry, the British very unhappy, they just couldn't give it high enough. You got to also that. head off now. Bye. Or over here. Alright, take care everyone. Right. Yeah. But I think if I would have sent the artillery to the third division, uh, the game would have already ended. So, probably this a uh, good use. Yeah, I'm not so sure. I mean, we would have sat here along the creek and stared each other down. I mean, obviously, you would have pushed through here, but. Would have taken some time to bring the guns up because there is no bridge here. Yeah. Yeah. I would have thought that um, each infantry division has its own artillery. I guess they, the battalions are sort of supposed to have the regimental guns. Yeah. It was maybe one of the problems, I think. But I think, as you mentioned, the combined arms stuff worked out fairly well. Although I think the in the first attack the, the cavalry got a bit ahead of everybody else. Um, in the end, went a bit chaotic, but turned out in our favor. Yeah, I think the British realized too late the danger, yeah. and then they got trapped. Yeah. And they had that one unfortunate turn where. The key player wasn't there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this remembers being off the battle of Leipzig, where the French didn't build enough uh, pontoon bridges, and then they blew up the one bridge. No. No. All right, pretty cool. All right, take care, and I am going to get some sleep. Have a yeah. great day, everyone. Thank you very much, Thanks. Justin. Have a good one. Hosting. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye. All right, and service down. Okay, so that's it for today. Um, marginal French victory, that is. Um, very interesting scenario. I think we saw some interesting situations there with the combined arms. Um, although the terrain obviously was an issue, so. Um, the advance, if the British would have held the position there along the creek, would probably be nearly impossible for my division to attack them there in any suitable way um, if we would not, would not have had the artillery to push them back, which we then had. But So that's an, something to take away from it, and I'm watching the bats flying around again outside um one thing to take away is that the coordination between the various arms needs to be more synchronized so the infantry assault columns the cavalry and the artillery support which is really the crucial the crucial element of napoleonic impulse warfare mm. Which we rarely see in our games, unfortunately, because everybody is just, like, smashing in. Um, but this time we sort of started deployed in front of the enemy and then had the time to arrange stuff. So that's 
that's pretty good to see that it works. Um, now we need to get our players to think out of the box or more think like an actual command in the field, think more terrain based rather than, yeah, I don't know, search and destroy machines. Bats, yeah, I don't know. Batman hasn't arrived yet, but the bats are already here. Every evening, when dawn arrives, they come and fly around. Are you umpiring again? I surely will, surely will. I'm um, <clears throat> preparing a medieval sort of Kriegspiel scenario right now. Um, with some twists, which is also the reason why it takes me so long, because I need to think about some mechanics I want to employ there. So that will probably be the next one I will be umpiring myself. Um, but probably also only for my server community, so to say, not for the IKS Open Saturday. <clears throat> yeah, but sure, sure, sure. Always putting thought in the mechanics and into the dice. I need to, the dice, I think the dice are the main problem for the Seven Years War system so far. They work out sort of, kind of, but uh, they need some reworking we have some unit type specific dice i really need to dig into those uh auto made them a guy from finland um he has one for artillery one for infantry one for cavalry and they are taking the situations into consideration there but yeah i really need to take a look at the rule system he's using for those all right so then that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the impressions and the scenario. I liked it quite a lot. And we will see each other on the next stream. Have a good evening, everybody. Good weekend. Bye-bye.